this. There's a highway right on the other side of that fence. I don't know if you can hear any of this, uh, but today is Thursday the 22nd. We are officially 20 days into this road trip. We left on the 2nd, it's now the 22nd. Uh, today we're leaving San Diego and we're going to Zion National Park. We're gonna drive through Vegas, stop by there, make a quick pit stop, and then continue on to Zion National Park where we'll be spending the next two days. Uh, this morning I just wanna check to see if the Legacy has oil, everything's still good. Uh, while Zach and all them are still sleeping because we're going to go do an oil change today at Dustin's shop before we leave and also uh, adjust our reverse lockout cable because it's uh, it's being a little bit of a pain uh, against the drive shaft we think. Uh, so we're going to check that out. We're going to make sure there's oil, get the car warmed up, head over to Dustin's shop, let it cool down, and do an oil change. Filter. <sighs> Luckily, we don't need these race ramps today because we have a Tim and sh actual lifts. <laughs> Zach's gonna stay here with Tim. They're gonna get the car up on the lift, probably get the oil drained. It'll probably need to cool down for a second. Um, and I'm gonna go run to a local Walmart who has the oil we've been running, Rotella T6 5W40. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I'm tired this morning for sure. Last year was a long night. Uh, but shout out to Tim, Legend Tim. We'll put his Instagram here on the screen. He's Dustin's right hand man here at the shop. He's also helping us out this morning. He came in early to help us do an oil change and help us get rid of our uh, reverse lockout cable noise before we get on the road. I hear you, Blackview. So thank you to Tim. Follow him if you guys aren't already. I gotta go get the oil and we'll catch up with you in a second. All right, oil's acquired, it's in the back. We got Starbucks for the boys, drinks and croissants. And also, uh, might have put a quick little signage on this, uh, this here sign, boy. Yeah, we've been here, baby. <laughs> Made it back here to Legends Garage. Tim's helping out uh, Zach over the car and change the oil on the car. They had already got the oil drained out of the car as it is now. Uh, we were just inspecting some other stuff on the car that we need to fix and change and whatnot. But it's a Subaru, so you know, has to be expected. You know, so and Cody had his hands on it, so I mean that's <laughs> probably 90% of the problems Come that we on, have on Cody. this. <laughs> um, so we just grabbed some more Rotella T6 again. Uh, Shell, if you're out there. <laughs> Don't listen to all these other signs you see on the wall. Shell, if you're out there, um, you wanna hook this up. Let us know. This goes in the exhaust now to fill it up? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll just go ahead and make it. So in the car when we hit like fifth gear or whatever and some other gears we hear a lot of loud, clingy, annoying noises from our little um, shifty boy. Clingy, annoying is rubbing your mm -hmm. this right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. that looks good. Yeah, it's all shiny. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's because your your uh, cable is wearing on it. Oh. Well, that's gonna be what that sound was. So what we need to do is take, that somebody already zip tied it. it, so we just need to move that over more. Uh, they had six more zip ties in there, you think? Yeah, okay. maybe seven. Okay, I'll go get him. So what we need to do, um, like a angle it bracket, up. Huh? We need to angle it up like this and push it back. Like this thing is just not doing anything right now. So. It's just because Rubin's racing. I think that's why. Rubin is racing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what the R is for, right? Yeah. The re re racing, <laughs> not reverse, we don't need that. So as suspected, our reverse lockout cable was rubbing like we were showing you guys. And you can see in there, it looks like a little hamster got to it, started nibbling it away, but it wasn't a hamster, it was our uh, drive shaft. Um, so we got it all zip tied up a little bit now for the time being. We'll grab a new cable um, once we get home and do a bunch of other new stuff because, well, anyway. Um, so for the time being, zip tied up, out of the way. We're not gonna rub anymore and well, we'll still have reverse and that's kinda good. Okay, yeah, that's good. Thanks, Tim. Yeah. <laughs> we just left Dustin's shop. Uh, thank you to Tim and Dustin for helping us get the car back to normal. The car no longer makes an annoying sound of fifth gear because the reverse lockout cable is rubbing against the drive shaft and we have a fresh oil change. Uh, so we are safe to pretty much make it all the way back home at this point. Uh, unless we want to be presented, prevented him and do another one, maybe in Florida or something, but we should be okay at this point. Um, let's uh, get everyone back at the hotel. Uh, shout out to Dustin, shout out to TJ, thank you guys for hosting us this weekend. Very kind, thank you guys for posting on stories and whatnot and helping this road trip be successful. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, let's go back to the hotel, get the rest of the crew, and then head to Zion National Park, which I am insanely stoked to see. I've always wanted to be there, and we're finally gonna witness it in my legacy. Uh, so that's gonna be amazing, and with my beautiful girlfriend, which is gonna make it even better. Um, okay, we're gonna head there now, and uh, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Look at good guys, Zach.
What a good man. Are you missing a brick, by the way? Oh, yes. Who? Oh, but I missed mine. Mine's black. Poor Zach. Just trying to be a good person. Oh, my luck right there. Yeah. How's your eardrum doing? What? <laughs> hey guys, my name is Zach. I do sound design. <laughs> it's really good. The levels are peaking, I think. I don't know. We have a deaf Zach now. Now we have track Zach and deaf Zach. <laughs> hey man. Why don't you stay away from tires and air pumps from now on? <laughs> Look, it's just uh, a sign that I'm really good at destroying tires, you know? Mm. This is kind of how it works. Real drifter. Real drifter right there. All right, van's all packed up. Legacy's all packed up. We're gonna head out now, do a quick to-go lunch up in uh, San Di or north of San Diego, and then continue on to Zion. But first, we have a quick pit stop make outside of Las Vegas. You'll see what that is when we get there. Detour on Route 60. Oh, it's blurry. Route, Route 66. A little bit of a slight detour. They got trains over here, unicorns as well. I think that's uh, indigenous to the area. Uh, we got a little bit of traffic though, so uh, our ETA to our little fun spot is being delayed. So we may or may not do it. We'll see. It's not the end of the world. Zach informed us that that is the world's largest uh, thermometer. And also on record, Zach has used it rectally. Uh, headed into Vegas, Legacy's in front of us, cruising. Zach, uh, something about Baker Grade. Good, Zach, fill me in about Baker Grade. Let me tell you something about Baker Grade. Yeah, uh huh. It starts at exit 246 on Highway 15. Okay. In California, heading towards Las Vegas. Yes. It is well known uh, by the engineers at automotive manufacturers for using it to test out coolant system design. And so we're gonna see if it works. Right here, 19 miles, about <laughs> 1,000 feet of elevation change. Uh-huh. Uh, and a constant grade, so let's see what's up. Let's see how this CSF uh, Honda Hef Ultimate, CSF Ultimate Honda Hef Rad holds up on the Baker grade. Or will this truck cross the legacy? Let's find out. Hey uh, guys, I don't know if you saw that sign, but it said avoid overheating, turn off AC. I just wanna make sure that you guys have the AC in the legacy uh, turned off. Temps looking like. Awesome. All right, just check it in. So Zach, we officially heading downhill. We officially passed it. Yeah, we made it. Um, so after it's about 4,000 feet, I think it is. Um, it was definitely like it was a lot of work for the van, um, and you can hear them spooling up quite a bit too. And our temps got up to. Oh, about, it already dropped. Damn. Yeah, we've already dropped. They got up to about 230 degrees on, on the. And we started at 190s. Mm. Um, so actually, actually, the Legacy did better than. The <laughs> yeah, the, the guys were just telling us they got to uh, 214 at the Legacy, um, and like 
above 220 is start to maybe worry a little bit with this car. Um, but our CSF Ultimate Honda Half Rad kept the legacy just cool, especially on one of the proving grounds uh, in the country. And it's 76 degrees. It was 90 degrees when we started that incline. Um, but uh, thanks to CSF for keeping the legacy cool, even though everyone said the Honda Half Rad wouldn't keep it cool. Too small of an intercooler. It's keeping it just cool. Thanks, guys. It's over at uh, CSF. Also, thanks for Sebastian and um, Zach for keeping the heater on and you know suffering a little bit for us. <laughs> Solar panels, I feel like. Ooh, I'm good. I had to tell you, coming up on Las Vegas and Nevada, hotels and casinos and a bunch of bright, flashy lights. Yeah. So we wanted to go to the dry lake bed and get some cool sunset shots going over the dry lake bed, but timing and everything didn't really work out. We wound up stuck in traffic earlier today, and that kind of put us uh, really behind, about an hour behind, and all we really needed was that hour to shoot, uh, but we didn't really have any time to, to spare. Uh, okay. Yeah, we might as well do that if you want to throw that in, and we'll follow. So we wanted to do the dry lake bed stuff over there, but obviously we can't because it's too late. We don't want to get stuck out there. We don't want anything to go wrong and be stuck in the middle of a lake bed at night. Um, so uh, we're going to move out and we're going to go to uh, Las Vegas because uh, it's just right ahead and we're going to get some str some rollers on the strip uh, out in Las Vegas and then continue on to Zion. We'll spend just a little bit of time here because then Zion's only like two hours from here, so it'll be a nice quick drive uh, over to where we're staying outside of Zion National Park. Um, so salt, fl salt flats, lake bed, Maybe another trip. When we brought the legacy to the SEMA out here in Las Vegas, I had to drop the car off that night right for SEMA. I never really get to drive on the strip. So we made a quick little pit stop here in Vegas on our way to Zion. We're gonna be driving the car down the strip, getting some rollers down the strip, but we decided to stop at the sign real quick, grab some quick B-roll of the sign for the future video or, you know, just the nostalgia vibes of the Super 8. Um, so pretty cool to stop by the sign. Obviously, we, we've done it before. Um, not a first, but it is, oh, it's McKenna's first time, and Zach hasn't been to the sign either, I don't think, so. Zach used to live out here, oh my god. So, drive down the strip and then continue our way to, uh, to Zion. The shot's more so gonna be him like rolling in front of us till we get there. So let's have him be a little bit in front of us. We'll have you roll in front of us as well. Yeah, you should get him cruising with this car that's about to pass us.
get those flames? Yeah, yeah. I mean, not with the legacy in it, but with the yeah. flames nonetheless, yes. Still pretty cool. cool. In and out, quick little stop at the group. With the legacy outside of Vegas before we uh, continue on two more hours to our tiny home, two and a half hours to our tiny home. Um, somebody wants to leave us. No. Somebody's leaving Sorry. tonight. You guys, track Zach, the winner of your competition is leaving tonight. <laughs> Thank you for all the votes. I love you, <laughs> I love you. you're the best. And thanks for the legacy, Chris. I'm pretty sure that was the prize. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Track Zach is leaving us. Track Zach is leaving the trip early. He's got stuff to do, business to take care of, a bike to go pick up. Uh, so we're leaving him in Vegas. He's flying out in the morning. He's going to pick up a bike, and uh, we're going to continue on the trip without him. <clears throat> without him. Uh, but he's leaving his tools, so fuck him. Zach, <laughs> you got this. Bye, Zach. If you guys want to follow Track Zach, he'll be on Instagram. It'll be on the screen. Give him a follow. Uh, we're going to continue on to Zion. We'll miss you. We'll miss you. Hi, Dad. Currently 1.34 a.m. on Friday the 23rd, and we just pulled into the tiny homes that we're staying out here in Zion. You can't see the stars, there's a ton of stars. But here comes the legacy. And legacy is parked up. Sorry about if we woke everybody else up, but staying in a tiny home. <laughs> so this should be interesting. Just a couple dudes and a girl in a tiny home. All right. Let's get in and then we'll show you guys the inside once we're in. Oh, it wasn't locked. Okay. We got this one. Okay. Ladies and germs, welcome to your tiny home. <laughs> That's so cool. Sebastian, your room is right there. <laughs> your room's right down there. <laughs> Cool. Cool. Nice. <laughs> Thanks, McGuire's, <laughs> Blackview, and Chris McKee.